Did you see my last animation video and think, man, I want that? Then quickly realized that Google put the screws on your wallet with their new collab pricing? There, there, don't cry. I have arrived. Wait, where am I? Oh right, how to install the forum locally video. Let's dive into that and start rendering some animations. By the way, what do you call a knight who is afraid to fight? Sir, render. Okay, so here we are at GitHub, and this is the, the Forum Stable Diffusion official extension script for Automatic 11.11. This the forum implementation requires Automatic 11.11. So if you haven't installed that, I'm going to put a link up. Let's see where the corner is. This one? Do you want this one? Maybe that one? I'll put it in this one. Yeah. So it's going to be up in this corner. Go check that out if you haven't installed, and then come back to my video here. Now, if you already have it installed, let's get started. Now, the instructions are here. A lot of the steps here are not necessary for you. So first, we're going to command. Just make sure that our automatic 11.11 installation is up to date. We're going to go into our folder by writing cd, which is change directory. Now, mine is here. Usually, it's in your users, your user, and then stable diffusion web UI. While you're here, you're going to type git pull and if you have followed my previous guide you're gonna have git installed and all this means i have now updated my automatic 1111 so you can go back into the guide you're gonna copy paste this either by dragging going Control c or you can press this button here then you're gonna go back into your command prompt and just copy paste that in there and now all the files are cloning into your hard drive. Okay, so that is finished. Now we're gonna manually download two files, this one and this one. Then you're gonna go into your Stable Diffusion Web UI folder and you're gonna go into Models. If the forum is here, you're just gonna enter that folder. Since it's not here, I'm gonna create that. The forum. Go into that and now we're going to copy the files that we downloaded now this one hasn't finished yet but we can take this this one here so while that's downloading i got a little something for you do you know why the ai is angry all the time because you keep pushing its buttons no hey huh hey a little mm, uh, mm. that's okay i'll see you in a bit okay so the other file has finished we're going to drop that into the same folder and then we are finished Great job. Hard, wasn't it? So what you do now, just get rid of all of this. Start your uh, automatic like you usually do with the web UI user uh, file. I'm going to wait for this to launch. Hey, I got another one while this is loading. So what do you get when you cross a bookshelf with the AI? Shelf awareness. Ah, huh? I thought it was pretty funny. So yeah, this is loaded, and you're gonna just go into your local host, and ta-da, bum bum bum. See this little tab here? Now you have the forum installed. Now if you worked with the forum previously, it looks similar, but now it's sorted into tabs. Now you have the run settings here at the beginning, like the sizes and seed and sampler and whatnot uh, this would be your folder name if you want different folders when you keep working with it the keyframes part here is where you set the animation mode now interpolation is not available it's only 2d 3d video input for now but it's uh, the forum 0.5 so you have the option of um, using math in your animation settings. Now I'm not going to go in depth into all of these settings here. I have another guide where I go through every setting in detail. So check that guide out. Um, I'm going to put that link, well, maybe this corner this time. That one. Yeah, this one. That's a great corner, isn't it? I think that's a great corner. It's the best corner. This is where you set your prompt. I'm going to remove all this. Well, it's actually already negated with this here but we're going to remove it for the sake of this tutorial so it's easier to see and we're just gonna push generate i think we need to generate something else due to copyright issues i 
And here we can see our apples, and this is real-time rendering. We can see this zoom going on, and I'm actually not speeding this up, so uh, we have great render speed now. We can actually see that in here. We have about 8 iterations per second in my uh, 3080. When doing stills, I get about 10, but this is, this is all right. Let's interrupt this. Now, there has been an issue of late. Now, if your generate button does nothing, and it actually says so here, go into settings, click restart, gradient refresh. And that's in the settings here, it's in the bottom here. If it's not working, press this, everything's gonna reload and try again. And if you can't get this to work, please reach out. You can write in the YouTube comments or you can check the Discord. There's a link in the channel description and there's lots of people there that are very knowledgeable about stable diffusion. So come join us and um, share your art and animations, get feedback, whatever, get support. It's a great group of people. Okay, let me show you an example of how you could start your animation. I'm gonna find a starting frame. I'm gonna change this size to 640 by 384 to closely resemble 16 by 9. I've put a prompt up here. Woman, robot, android, bright pastel colors, epic scene by Victor Nagai, Killian Eng, vibrant colors. Actually wanna remove the vibrant here because you have the bright pastel colors here. Dynamic lighting, digital art, winning award, masterpiece. Fantastically beautiful illustration, aesthetically inspired by Bexinski and Dan Mumford, training in art station, art by Derek Sabrocki 8K. Right, and then we're gonna do Let's do four. I'm gonna keep the scale at seven. And we're gonna generate. And this is just to find a starting frame. We could start the animation at random, but uh, now we have more control of what's going on. I think that this is pretty interesting. So I'm gonna take this one. And we have the robot android standing here in this sort of abstract landscape. So let's see what the AI can do with that. I'm gonna take a seed here. I'm gonna put that into the forum here. And then just copy our settings. Oops. The prompt is here. I'm gonna remove these. And just remember that the last line is not going to have a comma at the end. Before the other lines had a comma. Let me show you again. See the first, the second, and the third one here, they have commas at the end. The last one doesn't. So we need to be consistent about that or we're going to get an error. So remove that. And we want 2D. Let's up these lists a little bit. We have a zoom here. I'm going to leave that at default. If you want uh, a regular zoom without the math function, you can just do it like that. So that would be a small zoom. One is no zoom. Again, check my guide for all the settings. I'm going to have a small rotation. One. So that would be one degree each frame. We're going to leave the rest at the default for now. Actually, we're going to change the cadence to two. That would skip every frame and smooth it a little bit. Again, change the resolution here, the size to get the same size. We want the same sampler and the same steps, or we're not going to get the same result. That's our starting frame. And that should be it. I'm going to set this to tutorial one. And let's generate. You can see here that we're getting in the starting frame that we got from text to image. And now we can see we're getting a little zoom here and also a small, small rotation. As you can see here, the character. Okay, so our animation has finished. And if you haven't made any changes, the animation will be saved as a GIF. You can always save it as an MP4. I usually prefer to take the images just as a batch into Premiere. And then here, click here after the generation to show the video. And let's check it out, what we made here in uh, just a couple of minutes.
Yeah, so I think this is super cool without without any effort at all. I mean, if you just spend some time, like a couple of hours with playing with the settings, learning the settings, you're gonna be able to do amazing stuff with this. So, I mean, just getting this from the defaults is fantastic. So uh, go try it out, see what you can create. And uh, if you create something cool, just, you know, send me a message on Discord. Yeah, I'd love to see what you guys keep creating out there. So yeah, I hope you liked this video on how to install the forum locally with Automatic 11.11. If you did, feel free to push the like button. And uh, remember, goddamn microphone. And remember, be an Optimist Prime, not a Negatron. Oh, I almost forgot. Check out these videos here. Pop that one and that one. They're both great. I promise you, you're going to get a good joke in the beginning. See ya.